Hello and Namaste. In continuation with the probability distribution, we have started with the normal distribution. And after the detailed discussion on the normal dis distribution and the different properties and the uh, symmetric symmetricity of the distribution, uh, and after that we have gone for one part, part one on the problems. Now we are going ahead with the part two with a different set of examples. Now this is the table which I am going to keep it again in the same way which I have kept it in the last uh, part also just for your kind reference. Again let me repeat it. Uh, if I wanted to show the value at 0 0.67 so I will just show you this this cell that is Z then this 0 0.6 then I will be showing you 0 0.07 and then the intersection of them that is 0 0.2486. Instead of rather than to put the entire table in, in front of you in the one slide which is not possible to do, I am going to give you 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, points to have the understanding or you can say the value or the probability from the table. Now the question is the percentage x of a particular compound contained in a rocket fuel follows the distribution n33,3 that is we have the parameters 33 and 3 that is uh, mu as 33 and sigma as 3. Though the specification for x is that it should lie between 30 and 35. The manufacturer will get a net profit per unit of the fuel of rupees 100. That means if the particular specification this x compound is getting the particular uh, specification between the 30 and 35 then only the manufacturer is getting the profit of rupees 100. If the specification or you can say that, that 30 is less than x is less than 35 rupees 50. So if the specification is coming under this range 30 to 35 it is getting th rupees 50. If, if 25 is less than x is less than 30 or 35 is less than equals to x is less than 40 or incur and incur a loss of rupees 60 per unit of the fuel otherwise. That means if the range is this two, like 25 to 30 or 35 to 40, then it the manufacturer uh, have to suffer with a loss of rupees 60 per unit. Now find the expected profit of the manufacturer. If he wants to increase his expected profit by 50% by increasing the net profit on that category of the fuel that meets the specification. What should be the new profit, new net profit per unit of the fuel of this category? Okay, so in this particular question, first of all, we have to understand this particular x follows the normal distribution with the parameter 33 and 3. That means, as I have told you, mu is 33 and sigma is equals to 3. So, this z is x minus mu upon sigma, that is, we can construct or we can find out the normalized z or standard uh, z standard normal z using this formula that is x minus mu upon sigma that is x minus 33 by 3 follows the normal distribution with 0 comma 1. Now we have got this if the specification of x lies between 30 to 35 he gets the profit of 100 rupees per unit. So let us find out what is the probability of getting that particular uh, x specification of x in this range. So again 30 is less than x is less than 35 we have to find out the probability of that. So we have to convert this x into z normal z or standard normal z by this formula. So here we are putting it x as 30 in the first case here and x as 35 in the second case here. So we will be getting this particular value as minus 1 to 0 0.67. Now if you will observe this minus 1 to 0 0.067 is this point or you can say the, the, the area which lies in this particular curve or you can say a shaded area. So, if by the symmetricity, we know that this, this uh, normal curve is a symmetric curve uh, around or you can say at z equals to 0, because of the symmetricity, we can write down this as z or you can say 0 0.67 and 1 over here. Why are we doing that? Because in the standard normal uh, from the previous, uh, you can say, slide, you can understand, the standard normal table gives us the value only in the positive z only in the positive set and because of the symmetricity we have converted or we have just written this z equals to minus 1 to the other side here in this case which is we have done it here. So this particular thing can be written as so the so we need to have this particular area 
so it would be from 0 to 1 and then it is also from 0 to 6 point, 0 0.67 that means this minus 1 is less than z is less than 0 0.67 can be written as, as probability 0 is less than z less than 1 plus probability 0 is less than z is less than 0 0.67 and this can be done only if you will understand this property of the uh, what do you call it as the normal curve property of the normal curve okay now we need the value of z at 1 and we need the value of z at 0 0.67 from the table so as i have told you i'll be showing you just 1 2 3 4 values so the value at 1 is 0 0.31 uh, 3413 and value at 0 0.67 is 2 uh, 0 0.2486 so if you'll add them up we'll get the value as 0 0.5899 0 0.5899 for this probability which this x specification lies between 30 to 35 now uh, if you'll observe this question here so we have got to find out 25 to 30 35 to 40 it incurs the 60 as the uh, uh, this uh, loss so let us go ahead and find out between the range 30 25 to 30 the same way what we have done in the previous case so we will just I'll just go through fast so if we'll uh, consider this x so that means what this is x is equals z equals to x minus mu upon uh, sigma that is x minus 33 upon 3 which is what we have done it here replacing x by 25 in the first case 30 in the second case we will be getting minus 2.67 uh, to minus 1 so if this is the range we can get it by symmetry we can just show that here but as we know the table values is giving us the values only from 0 to the point 0 to the z we have to have this 0 to 0 2.67 minus 0 to 1 will give you the value for this particular shaded area and that is what we have written the probability from 0 is less than z is less than 2.67 minus probability 0 less than z less than 1 that means from the table we have got the value at 2.67 as 0 0.4962 and at 1 we have already seen 3, 0 0.3413 after subtraction of them, we will be getting 0 0.15449 as the probability for 25 to 30. Now, moving ahead, if we need to find out 35 to 40, the same way what we have done it here, I will be going quickly. So, you can easily check this out. This is the probability from 0 0.67 to 2.33. Again, we need to have it from 0 to 2.33 minus 0 to 0 0.67 that will gives us the value of this particular shaded area which is 0 0.4901 and 0 0.2486 that will gives us the value at 0 0.2415 from 35 to 40. Now this is the question purposely I have kept it for this because that question has left it we have left it in the third slide so purposely I have taken the excluding the first statement I have taken the entire question again here so that we will need here in this case. Now, uh, if you'll observe here, rupees if 25 to 30 or 35 to 40 and incur a loss. So that means what if we so that means what we have to find out the probability of this or this. Now, if it is a or and they are mutually exclusive events, therefore we have to have the addition of them. Like probability of 25 is less than x is less than equals to 30 plus probability of 35 is less than equals to x is less than 40. We have done this probabilities in the previous two slides 0 0.1549 and 0 0.2415. If we'll add them up, we'll get it 0 0.3964. Now, if we'll observe why are we doing this x is less than uh, 25 or x is greater than 40. So, this we are doing it for this particular statement. Uh, so, if rupees of this, that means we if we have got rupees 25 to 30, 35 to 40 in rupees of 60 here find the expected profit of the manufacturer so we need to have the uh, uh, profit of the manufacturer and for that reason we should have this things also because if you will observe we have taken it 25 to 30 as the range and 35 to 40 we have not talked about what will happen if x is going beyond 40 or x is going less than 25 so this probability also we need to have it and this can be done using this 1 minus the probability at this 25 to 30 and 35 to 40 which is we have seen is the same question slide number 1 and 2. So we can just go ahead with this 1 minus this probabilities. So you can check this out 
this will gives us 0 0.0137 as this now the manufacturer will get profit of unit per unit rupees 100 if it is probability of 0 0.5899 which is which we have taken it up that is uh, it is 30 to 35 then rupees 50 if it is uh, it will, if it is lying between this two that is 0 0.3964 which is this is the probability and it, it will give uh, this manufacturer will give rupees minus 60 that means it will uh, incur the loss for this is the probability so we have got one two three probabilities for this three range 100 50 and minus 60 now what is the expected fre expected frequency or expected profit for the manufacturer is 100 into the probability that is rupees 100 into the probability 50 into the probability minus 60 into the probability so we this manufacturer will get 79 rupees approximately profit so expected profit is this now let the revised net profit per unit of the first category fuel will be k why are we doing this read the statement if he wants to increase his uh, his expected profit by 50 percent by the increasing the net profit on their category of the fuel right so this is what we are going to get the next statement as then expected revised profit per unit would be rupees k into this so because we need to have it how much rupees he will get it for this particular revised thing so rest of the figures will remain the same only we are replacing that 100 with k now if you observe here we will be getting this type of equation now expected revised profit per unit would be rupees 79 plus rupees 39.5 now how this 39.5 would come here we have got 79 79 by 2 will gives us 39.5 which is exactly half that is 50 percent increase in that 50% increase in 79, per, 79 rupees is the extra expected profit. If he needs more 50%, so it would have, it would be 79 plus 39.5 that is per unit per, uh, as per the manufacturer's wish. So 50% more in that. So 0 0.5899k plus this would gives us 118.5 which is 79 plus 39.5 that would gives us the value of k as 168.68 which is approximately rupees 169 for the manufacturer to go ahead so this is also one type of uh, problem which would be very very uh, important to understand it's an application of a normal distribution so this is what we I, I just have kept it only this one question in this particular session part two and I have not given you any uh, self observation slide because I want you all to understand this if at all you have any query please write me in the comment section so that I can handle those queries in the comment section I hope and stay connected for the next upcoming session which is in a wise uh, that means the probability if the probability is given we have to find out the respective set for that yeah, thank you so much. Happy learning.